This is Cog of Destiny. This is the chapter. This is the one. This is the chapter that separates the men from the boys and the classed up units from the people who suck. I mean, just look at all, look at how friggin' big this chapter is. And look at the, I mean, friggin' berserkers and warriors and generals and... Wow. This is, this is an amazing chapter. And so friggin' epic and has... The, some of the best music ever. It's just... There's a reason that uh, this chapter is on the... Um, you know, best level ever TV tropes page because it's pretty much the best level ever. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's freaking, it's freaking awesome. I need to turn animations off though. I kind of figured out how I want to do animations for the rest of the, for the rest of the series. And this one, I was considering very much leaving them on for this one, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't want to. It's, because again, like like chapter twenty six, this is a very twenty six X rather. This is quite a long chapter, so I'm not really wanting to, um, you know, uh, whatever it was that I was gonna say that I wanted to do. I don't want to make it too long. This is probably gonna be another four video chapter. Again, I'm not really that proud of that. Um, oh, support. Why not? I don't see why not. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This one has a f this one has a funny um, line in it. I mean, two guys like us—we gotta sit here looking at each other's mugs all day. I love that line for some reason. It's just hilarious. Like it just—it <laughs> just makes me imagine Hector and Oswin just like st sitting there having a um, having a um, staring contest in the middle of a battle. Like, <laughs> like they just stand there and they go. <laughs> like that's that's exactly how I imagine it. Like they just kind of grunt at each other. I feel like that was in something, but I don't know what it was. How does she not have it? How has she lost three HP? Is that from? They lost HP when they classed up, and I and I and I didn't heal them. That's just weird. <laughs> I have never noticed that before. That is weird. See, kids, this is why you shouldn't class up when you're not in the middle of a level, so. Anyways, I want you all to get some supports here, too, so. And see, Merlinus has an ass. He can ride along with us now. <laughs> he has an ass. It doesn't go as far as a horse, you know. Just driving the point through him. Ugh, I tell you, these knights here are just, they are the most annoying people. They just don't stop coming. They're like, the fortress up there you'll find is like Michelle Duggar. Like, just things just keep coming out of it. Sorry, that was wow. Her, the fortress is in it, and she's a, wow, I forgot to turn the animations off again. Go me, but hopefully we'll have a nice thumbnail. I say that every time. That's... You know, I don't have very many memes for myself, but that is one. That is definitely one of them. Good job, you missed. And you made Will stronger than he was before. Oh boy, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. I don't know what y'all are doing. This chapter is just like, it, it, it's just like, whoa, what's, whoa. But the, the cool thing about this chapter is that you get to see how good your units actually are. This is where it's like, well, it's a real-time strategy game. How do you, you know, how are units going to be good besides having numbers? This is kind of where, you know, you get to see what the number means. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the people will prove their worth this time. Now, let's go, ha let's go ahead and have uh, Lynn show off her new, her brand new battle animation. I swear she used to friggin' I swear her boobs used to jiggle in, with, in this animation. I could be wrong, but I swear they did. I swear she had some gain axing going on there. Ugh. It's actually pronounced gain axing for you friggin' people. Um, on second thought, let's have Hawkeye come over here. 
And let's have... Oh, yeah, that's right. I want a Priscilla and Urk to be around to help magic these guys. Because we're not going to be moving on over there, over here for a while. So, God, this music is just amazing. It just is. Uh, we will also be seeing the uh, A support for Ellawood and... Um, we'll show that next turn. For Ellawood and Ninian in this chapter because, well... We're going to. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just what's going to happen. Hey, what's up? You're you're reaving my lance. How dare you? Too bad Florin is still going to kill you. <laughs> Florin was just like, <laughs> you're a lance reaver who can't reave me. I will not be reaved. There's a pun for you. There's a pun for you. Little reavers walking down the street Wonder if they'll meet and get together Little reavers making lots of noise Playing with the boys Hoping it'll be forever I want to see the little reavers on the wall And watch the little reavers as they fall in your pants is where the party is for all. And they will never know what it is like to shoot a waddle through the night. <laughs> Little reavers walking down the street. Wonder if they'll meet and get together. Little reavers making lots of noise. Playing with the boys. Hoping it'll be forever. Yes, I just sang that whole song. <laughs> and that was very much cleaner than the original version. And I only changed one word. And it's probably easy to guess what that word was. Reavers. I'm not going to tell you what I changed it from. But, you know, you can you can guess that on your own. You can do that on your own time, man. I, I ain't talking about my... I ain't talking about... Dude, this sign I saw today. Oh, my God. I saw this sign today. Outside of a bar or something. The sign said, you can't beat our meat. <laughs> uh, good advertising, though, because now I totally want to beat their meat. Oh, wait, they don't mean like, oh, God, wow. That's totally, that's totally good for me. Yeah, feeling ballsy. Feeling Dragon Ballsy. Dragon Ballsy. I'm not just ballsy, I'm Dragon Ballsy. See, look, even my commentary is better in this chapter. We're doing so much better, and I'm recording, like, six episodes today. Well, I have recorded, like, six episodes today. <laughs> I mean, there's kind of a difference there. Wait, wait, just wait. Okay, Ninian, just chill. You there, attack with the iron bow. Go ahead, iron bow. Turn animations off, Eric. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, and do it now. Okay, uh, Lynn. I kind of want, I need to get her support with Hector too, but we'll have plenty of time for that, even if I have to cut a little bit out. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little pinprick. Oh yeah, that's right, these guys can talk. Since they have A support, they need something to fill in their conversations with, and this is it. And I'm mostly interested in their last one, but I'm not entirely sure we're going to see it, because... It requires that you take Louise and Pent into the last chapter, and I'm just not keen on that. Which is not something I want to do. You're going to not miss like I wanted you to. And I forgot to turn animations up. Well, oh well. You know, it's cool. We haven't seen our buddies in a while. You know, every every once, every now and then we need a dose of her sexiness. It's just, you know, not complete without it. Yeah, it was sexier if you leveled up better. He needs plus one in his cock stat. <laughs> what, what am I saying, cock stat? Look, he's doing fine. He's just critical. He resents that. <laughs> Eric says, mine is bigger than yours. He's probably right. Eric's a smart man. He knows where to hit. He knows how to hit you where it hurts. Oh, look. You're going to be slaying a lot of swords when you're attacking a sage. Okay. I respect anyone who can take that axe and live. That axe, like, went from Urk's head, like, straight down to his crotch. It would have completely bisected him. And yet, here he is, striking back. Full force. Hey, you're trying to reave my lance, too. What a jerk. 
back. <laughs> Luckily, Lowen is our golden knight, and he can take it. I think it's pretty funny that we did hit twice on both of the people that reaved my lance. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. That's pretty uh, nice, actually. That's pretty good luck. Who? I think I, I think I spent my bad luck points on friggin' Mario Party today. I was playing Mario Party, and I swear, for the first six turns of the game, I landed on red spaces. It was terrible. It was the worst of things. You're gonna miss. Damn it, you're not gonna miss! You ass! You're an ass, you know that? Yeah, Urk knows it. Urk's not gonna let you get away with that shit. Actually, it kind of would have been nice if he didn't kill him, because then, um, yeah. But it's always good to have a magic user paired with the axe users or whatever that you're going to use to, like, take on all these generals and shit. Just because it's so... You hit Lin, you ass. Are you going to hit Lin, too? No, you you missed Lin. You did the right thing. You've done the right thing. Oh, you're going to attack Urk, too, but you're going to miss. Yes, he actually missed. Like a good douche. Like a good douche. Be a good douche and... Wow. Well, okay, stop at the douche jokes. <laughs> at least I'm making them now. Feeling better. I always do I always do it at the last friggin' end of a session or whatever. I just had to do this chapter because I was so excited for it. It's like, let's go! You know? This is one of those chapters. This is like an actual... Like, I usually get excited for characters, but... This time I got excited for a chapter. Because it's that cool of a chapter, really. And it, and it is, quite honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's just so epic. There's just so much going on, and it's just crazy. It's like... Ugh, it's awesome. I mean, the Black Fang are waning. There's only one of the four Fangs left. It's just crazy. And then we've got this here, which we need. Whoa, it's Murdoch! Huh? <laughs> Funny I send Florina here who can't talk to... Who can't talk to men. <laughs> and he's like this big guy. Crazy big guy. Warp Staff. Very important. Well, very... It's cool. I mean, you can get through the game on that. Alright, what's this guy packing? Steel Sword. Steel Lance. Okay, we're just... I want to ready some backup because heroes can be pretty tough to deal with. So, we'll just... You know, just make sure we have some backup here. Oh, hey, we need to move these guys here. But meanwhile, they're building up their support, so I'm not really I'm not really banged up about it. I want to show off Priscilla healing, but um, healing um, Priscilla, what am I calling? Actually attacking with a uh, with a spell, but she needs to heal Ark the Shat this time, and I need to return and I need to turn animations off. Must be so annoying in a chapter with with that with when I have animations. Oh God. We need to make sure we take care of, the, of some of them nomadic troopers, or Urk's just not going to have a good day, but... Let's see, we can take out at least three. Actually, can Hawkeye walk across the water? He can! I'm actually going to have him do that. But we'll have him do it on the next episode. Um, so... Uh, next time on Fire Emblem, we will continue traversing this freaking epic chapter. Our biggest challenge yet. And our, also our most badass one, as we will see. Um, and it will be awesome. <laughs> I love this chapter so much. And I bet that, I bet that shows. Um, so, until next time, thank you for tuning in. And go listen to... Uh... Oh, God, what is this music called? I forget what it's called. Something of Fate? Something? I don't know. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll link to it in, this, in the description or something, but it's just, it's such excellent music, but anyways, we'll get to it. I'll see you next time, alright? Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>